I didn't want to do yet another GoPro in the tire episode, but I received so many requests to do this video over the last week. I even put out a community post asking people to vote on whether or not they wanted me to do this video, but I am going to put a twist on it. I'm not only going to put a GoPro in the rear tire, I'm also going to mount the camera underneath the car so we can see what's going on with the suspension as I go into the slide. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump right into this and get straight to the point. Look at the size of that tire. Looks like I'm all set. I let the car down. I got the GoPro in the rear tire. I was really surprised that it fit because the tire is just so low. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to hit the road. Let's see what happens. The only thing I am really worried about is just what the centrifugal force is gonna do. Cause that's the big difference between the first video I did and this video here. There's a lot of centrifugal force pulling the camera outward. I mean, we all saw what happened in that second video where I do a burnout to failure with the GoPro and the tire, it just kind of ripped it apart. Only one way to tell for sure, and that is to get the car on the road and see what happens. All right, well, I'm driving around doing about 20 to 30 miles an hour on the way to the location. Now, the good news is still says connected so that means that our gopro is still intact i just got to the location where i'm supposed to drift the supra but unfortunately there's a couple cars in the lot that we're supposed to use so i'm not going to drag this out any longer i'm going to have some of our crew hold traffic on each side of the street just for safety and i'm going to use these double corners here just to do a slide left and a slide right that's gonna be enough to give us a really good idea for what's going on inside of those back tires during a drift. Making me nervous. Oh, there we go. Let me roll it. There we go. It's rolling. Let's do this. time I don't want to do anything crazy to dislodge this camera here we go I'm gonna do the best I can drifting pretty good there but uh i have to pull out of it because i'm about to hit that giant pothole right there i'm gonna try it one more time and uh see what happens all right let's do it one more
That was a little bit tough. It's a little bit too hard to drift here. I don't think I could do an actual drift. The pavement is too rough. The tires are too soft. I have too much traction and too much power. After that first turn, once I hit this second turn, I'm already doing like 50 miles an hour. By the time I get right here, then I have to hit second gear somewhere there. And then I got a giant pothole 20 feet right after I hit second gear and a more enormous pothole 40 feet down from that. And I don't have drift tires either, but it looks like the GoPro stood connected. I got the footage. It's definitely possible to put a camera in a rear tire during a drift. Yeah, that was quite an accomplishment for me. And uh, while this wasn't a legitimate drift, my car is not set up for drifting by any means at all, not even the slightest. So that was the best I can do here. But I think that was enough to give everybody an idea of what was going on with the tire inside. I had a combination of lateral forces and wheel spin, which is exactly what happens with the drift car. That's exactly what those tires are going through. You see, it is possible to get that camera in the rear tire during a drift. So I would totally be open if anybody wants to see an actual real drift car on a drift track. I would totally be open to uh, collaborating with one of those Formula Drift teams or anybody else to uh, do this again in one of their cars. Just an idea. That's all I got for you. I'm going to end this here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And again, the only reason I did this video is because everybody asked for it. See you soon. Adios. Anybody know what that noise is? Tell me in the comments below. I'll give you a hint. It's the same reason that this is one of the strongest rims you can buy.